Hello everyone and welcome back to the Great Book of Grudges. My name is Nathan and we're back with another Total War Warhammer video. So yesterday was quite the event, wasn't it? Absolutely amazing with loads of games being showcased. And we had a Corn trailer as expected. The teaser trailer for Corn was pretty standard as we've expected so far, considering the fact that we've seen most of those units already and there was a leak regarding Scarbrand. But it seems that this trailer might have had a little bit more to it, more specifically near the end where some very strange whispers can be heard. Let's just hear that section right now. So the outro has some very faint whispers, which, yes, sounds like absolute gibberish, very much in the style of what you'd expect a demonic tongue to be. Though it was pointed out by many on stream that there is indeed something to this. It looks like Creative Assembly have been rather crafty hiding hints. With this, what needs to be done is actually cut that section out and then reverse the audio. Very much reminiscent as to how people would reverse the audio for Black Sabbath songs to find messages from the devil for some reason. The audio clip was provided to me by a subscriber known as Emotionless who also increased the decibels of the actual clip which makes it much more easier to understand so let's listen to that now. Okay, so some things can be heard of this. It's very clearly saying, I await in the darkness. And there's something else, but I can't make it out. I've tried, believe me, I've been playing that on repeat for about two hours or so, but I just can't make it out whatsoever. Now, some people have been taking that as a possible hint towards Zinch. You know, Zinch and his forces are known to hide in the darkness and wait for the time to strike. But the changer of ways is never too sneaky. He's not focused around stealth or anything like that. But there is one specific demon which is very much focused around the shadows and is often described as living shadow. This is of course Belakor, the first demon prince and the only demon prince of Chaos Undivided. We're all expecting him to be the ninth legendary lord of Warhammer 3. And this makes sense because, well, a demon from Undivided would add in a Undivided character. We currently have only mortals for that. Well, then Kolek, but it's very grey area for him. And, well, let's be very honest here, he's a extremely popular character, very much like Scarbrand is, who was just recently revealed. Belakor is known to be a master at the lore of shadows, possibly even the most competent spellcaster in that specific lore. Shadows and darkness are often referred to as the same thing, and this also works with Belakor, as in the lore, there have been some descriptions where he was able to turn himself into a shadow to escape any enemies. For those who aren't aware, Belakor himself is quite the coward. He never outright acts against an enemy, instead he works in the shadows to try and break them. One of his titles also makes reference to this as he is known as the Shadow Lord. This is referenced multiple times not just in Warhammer Fantasy, but Warhammer 40k 2 and I believe very recently in Age of Sigmar. It's very clearly a hint and these signs from a lore and speculative perspective does point towards Belakor. I honestly don't think anyone else would fall under that category. But why would Creative Assembly be hinting at Belakor now? Well, there is a possibility that we might see Belakor showcased before we start moving on to the Silence and the Fury. This very much makes sense to me as Belakor doesn't really have anything too special. And by this I mean, well, there are no undivided demons in Warhammer Fantasy, bar Furies, which we've already seen for Corn, and can be assumed that everyone is going to get access to, and a few other things, but they could also take the marks of chaos too. So, Belakor himself would be a lone showcase. Not much would be needed here, barring the usual showcase of the cutout, the poster, and maybe just a trailer for him specifically. There's no roster showcase or anything else, and I guess that would work out rather well. Have him shown off, and then work on the Silence and the Fury, and then afterwards start moving towards Zinch, Cafe, Sonesh, and Nurgle. 
Let's hope Sinesh gets showcased soon because I've been waiting five years. I don't know, I could be wrong and it could just be pointing to something else, but this just seems really on the nose. What do you guys think about this? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and let's start a bit of a discussion because honestly I am losing my mind over that clip and I'm gonna go to bed now because I've been listening to it for way too long.